all right we have a photo here and what's the matter with it well it looks great the model's got a nice smile on her face she's got a nice pose but the only thing is the skirt it's got tons of wrinkles in it it's the kind of thing where you're like oh crap i should have ironed that before i shot then what are you going to do afterwards you got all these wrinkles you're like oh man we don't have the time or the budget to reshoot this you want to fix it in Photoshop? What do you? What else? What do you think I'm going to say here? You think I'm going to say reshoot it? No, no. We're going to we're going to re we're going to redo this. We're going to fix it. Let's take the uh, patch tool to start out. For simple wrinkles like this, you know, we could just click and drag, highlight around the area. You want to add? You can hold the shift key and you see how you get that plus sign, and you can add a little bit more area, and then just drag to an area that doesn't have the wrinkliness to it and you can let go and there it goes it's gone so the main wrinkle there this was before and that's after is still some little small wrinkles in between um there's some new tools built into photoshop cs5 uh, right here we have the spot healing brush this spot healing brush used to suck um it used to be really hit or miss now what you can make it do is you can set the selection to be content aware fill just like the new content aware fill where you make a selection uh, around anything and what it does is it looks around the surrounding areas and tries to you know mimic the pattern or the overall uh, texture just like if you go like this select an area go to edit fill and then contents you're gonna select content aware click OK basically does the same exact thing is if you were using this uh, spot healing brush tool set to content aware so it's just it's just a little bit quicker you don't have to make selections you just kind of brush over it release and there you go it just cleans it all up and it'll even it, it's pretty smart like right here kind of missed a little bit kind of made a little bit there we go you can kind of play around with it you can play with the direction the the pressure especially if you're using a tablet and you can get different um, you know shapes and sizes depending on the pressure of the the Wacom that you're using pen tablet alright so we got those gone we're gonna take away this major uh, wrinkle over here and basically just as you're working you know just touch up areas that might have got might not have gotten perfectly you can always go back to the patch tool I'm gonna hit this spot right here just trying to get the main wrinkles obviously there's going to be some wrinkles it's not going to be perfect but the point is you just if this is going in a catalog or if you're using this in a portfolio you obviously want it to look its best so you're going to see the final result after we're done hitting these main spots and it's going to look like night and day oh, that was an accident here I click and drag move with my move tool and I'm going to hit these areas. See how that works. That's pretty good. That one doesn't want to go away. Sometimes what will happen is it'll it'll take a selection from an, uh, another spot and it'll kind of paste it in there, but it's it's just hit or miss sometimes. All right, that area looks pretty clean. Clean that up a little bit. And there's some minor Wrinkles over here. This is way better than it used to be. This this uh what's the name of it again? I don't even know. Spot healing brush tool. It's been a long day. There we go. And sometimes if it's a little bit too blotchy, you can go and take your patch tool and get a little bit cleaner effect. I'm gonna try if if I see if I drag straight off to the white it's going to kind of be too smooth. You're going to lose the texture of the fabric. So you don't want to do that. You kind of want to stick to selecting another area that has at least fabric texture in it, like right here. There we go. And let's just hit this little spot here. Key is you got to find a nice smooth area that you could drag over to. You can drag the main selection over to. Because if you don't have that, it's just going to it's going to either be too smooth or it's going to be too bumpy. And this little spot right here. Now I've moved from the spot, the uh, spot selection tool, spot healing brush to the patch tool again. Just drag a little area around it, and you click and drag over to the area that you want it to duplicate. Kind of fades it right in. 
I'm going to take this whole chunk. I don't like how bumpy it is. And it's a little better. Now this is a main wrinkle here. Right down vertically. Select all this. And keeping being mindful of the stitching at the bottom of the selection. Make sure I line it up. Release. And it's gone. One little minor little wrinkle. And let's see what we got here. So far it's looking better. A lot better. So now this is before and this is after. What a difference. Now we can continue to go on and you know get it a lot cleaner, but for sake of time, that's my demonstration. I hope you guys enjoy these tools and hopefully this has helped you.